Hello everyone, I am Adil. Hello everybody, my name is Vidya. Hey, how's your stomach ache? It's better after I took a drug. Drug? What is a drug? A drug is a substance that is used for diagnosis, prevention or treatment of a disease. According to World Health Organization, a drug is any substance or a product used or intended to be used to modify or explore a physiological system or a pathological state for the benefit of the recipient. A drug is taken in a specified dose and a proper dosage regimen. So what is a dose and a dosage regimen? A dose is a certain amount of drug needed to produce a certain degree of response in a patient whereas dosage regimen is the manner in which that drug is taken. But I wonder what are the sources of drugs? So there are basically two sources of drugs that is the natural source and the synthetic source. The natural source generally includes plants, animals, minerals, microorganisms and humans as well. And the synthetic drugs are generally which are prepared in the laboratories. The examples of plant drugs generally include atropine, morphine, digoxin. Animal sources can include heparin, insulin. Microorganisms very important because they give us antibiotics like penicillin and cephalosporin. Humans, the most interesting class in this is that they are responsible for giving us drugs like immunoglobulins and mineral sources like our antacids, calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate, etc. And then when we talk about the synthetic drugs, that is the drugs which are prepared in the laboratory. But I was wondering, what are the effects of drug? And how do we get to know the effects of drug? It is called pharmacology. Pharmacology is the study of drugs and its effects on body. Pharmacology is broadly classified into pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. Pharmacokinetics is nothing but what body does to the drug. It is a hierarchical process involve absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion. The absorption of drug involves movement of drug from site of administration to the systemic circulation. After absorption, drug reaches into systemic circulation, that is blood circulation. Drug distribution involves reversible transfer of drug between body fluid compartments and tissues. Next is metabolism. Metabolism is the chemical alteration of a drug in a living organism. The major organ involved in drug metabolism is liver and the major enzyme involved is cytochrome P450 enzyme. And lastly excretion. Excretion is the irreversible transfer of drug from internal environment to external environment. It is done via non-renal routes and renal routes. Next is pharmacodynamics. Pharmacodynamics is a study of effects of drugs on body and their mechanism of action. The mechanism of action of drugs are receptor mediated and non-receptor mediated. Pharmacodynamics is nothing but what drug does to the body. The common term involved in pharmacology are therapeutics, toxicology and chemotherapy. Therapeutics is the study of drugs that are used in the treatment or prevention of a disease. While toxicology is the study of poisons and also it deals with the adverse effects of the drug. Chemotherapy involves the use of chemicals in infections. This term now includes use of chemicals that are used to treat malignancies. So I was just thinking, what can be the various routes of drug administration? The various routes of drug administration are oral, parental and local. Talking about oral route of administration, it is the cheapest and the most convenient route of administration. It generally includes tablets, pills, oral contraceptives, lozenges, powders, etc. But the major drawback with oral route of administration is that it has a slow onset of action and it causes certain GI irritations and GI problems. The next route of administration is parenteral. So talking about the parenteral route of administration, we have a wide range in parenteral route of administration. It can be intravenous, intramuscular, subcutaneous, intradermal, intraosseous, intramedullary, intraarticular. Intramuscular is a route of administration wherein the drug is directly administered into the large muscle like the triceps, gluteus and the deltoid muscle. The next up, subcutaneous route of administration wherein the drug is administered into the subcutaneous tissue. So here the drug stays for longer time and the action of the drug is relatively slow. Drugs like insulin, heparin can be administered through this route. 
The next is the intradermal route of administration. Herein, the drug is administered in the blebs of the skin or multiple punctures are made on the epidermis. The next we come up is the intraperitoneal route of administration. So in this, the drug is administered in the peritoneum. The peritoneum provides a large surface area for the distribution of the drug. This can be used in dialysis patients. Intra-articular is the next route of administration in parenteral. This can be used for inflammatory conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, wherein anti-inflammatory drugs like hydrocortisone is directly injected into the large joints. And the last is the intramedullary. So in intramedullary route of administration, it is one of the rarely used route of administration. The drug is directly injected into the bone marrow. Intra-articular is this route of administration wherein the drug is administered in the large joints of the body. This route of administration is used in inflammatory conditions like arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, drugs like hydrocortisone can be used. The next up we have is the intrathecal route of administration wherein the drug is administered into the subarachnoid space of the CNS. Drugs like spinal anesthetics can be used in this. So what can be the responsibility of nursing staff? Making sure that the history of the patient has been taken, the drug is kept in a safe place and the adverse effects are monitored. Check the prescription, drug label and patient's name before the administration of a drug and also to ensure that the correct drug is administered by the right route and in a right dose. So guys, hope this discussion was beneficial. Thanks for watching. And if you have any doubts, please mention in the comment section.